I don't know where <laughs> this journey is going to take me, but it's a journey that I'm willing to risk it all for, just to see what will happen and what will come of it in the end. My name is Malie Bang, and I'm a macrame fiber artist. I discovered macrame in 2007. Um, I was working a full-time job, you know, working that nine to five. I just kind of fell into a slump and I wanted to find something to re-trigger that creative side of me. I really got into it around 2018 and that's when I started my business, Malie Made. I think what I liked about it was that first of all, it, that it's like home decor. So at that time I was living in a two bedroom apartment and I wanted to fill the space with like beautiful things. So uh, one, I like that it was something that I could make with my own hands that I can then showcase in my own home. And then I also liked that it was something that I was already familiar with. Growing up, I did make friendship bracelets. So that kind of brought me back to my childhood with the knotting um, to make the friendship bracelets. A lot of my designs are focused on my culture, so the pieces are Hmong inspired. The most popular piece that I have right now is my So inspired pieces, and those are modeled after the traditional Hmong necklace that is usually worn with traditional Hmong outfits. I mainly use cotton cord. What I like to use mostly is the raw cotton cord, which is um, unbleached cotton that is then spun into cord or twine. The duration varies depending on the size of the piece. So if it's a smaller piece, it may take me an hour to two hours. For my larger macrame pieces, it would take me around six to seven or maybe even up to 10 hours sometimes um, if I'm doing a lot of reworking or trying to like figure out which designs work best together. In my real life, I'm a huge introvert, so I don't really get out much. Um, I'm usually holed up in my art room, just making macrame and connecting with others that way. So because macrame is such a therapeutic thing for me. I make pieces and then I sell them and then I kind of forget about them and move on to the next thing. Um, so it hasn't really been about sales for me, but more of like the being able to create something to use my hands, to create something that people will enjoy. So that's kind of been the highlight of this whole macrame journey for me. I've never been very confident in my art, so Creating these macrame pieces and getting the positive feedback, it's just, it's very exciting and it does definitely give me the confidence to do this full time. So as I, as I mentioned earlier, I don't know where <laughs> this journey is going to take me, but it's a journey that I'm willing to risk it all for, just to see what will happen and what will, will come of it in the end.